Yo, what's up everybody? It's KB here. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can install Chrome OS onto a VMware virtual machine. So I will put link in the description for this website called fedios.com. Actually, uh, someone commented on my old video about fedios that it is pronounced as fade os not freddy os but it is in my tongue now so i'm just gonna call it a freddy os but if you want to call it a fade os then let's go it's it doesn't matter as long as you understand this it's okay so i'm just gonna call it a freddy os because it's in my tongue so as you know official chrome os is made by google and uh, this is a Chrome os too but made by some other third-party company so that's why this is called Fedi OS. So this is basically a Chrome OS made by another company. So uh, we're just gonna install it on virtual machine. So go to this website, as I said, I will put link in the description, you can go here. Once you're here, it will be in Chinese, so you won't understand anything. So if you're using anything like a Chrome browser or Edge browser, you will see at the top uh, show translate option just click on it and I'm just going to translate it to English so it will be easier to read you know that <laughs> so once it gets translated just go to download the experience option just click on it and it will take you to the new page here you can download the Fedi OS or Fade OS I should call it a Fade OS now on <laughs> so we have two options here Fedi OS for PC Fedi OS for VMware. To install it on VMware, we need to download the VMware version. I have made a video on FedUS before, but uh, it has new updates and all that. So I need to update that video too, because it is now simpler to install and all that. So we just leave that thing for next video. For now, we just focus on VMware. So just click on FedUS VMware download directly or you can choose another option just click on download directly and it will just download the Fedi OS for VMware so I have actually already downloaded this so once you download this go to your download folders and make sure that you have installed VMware so once you have installed VMware uh, just double click on Fedi OS file that you just downloaded and it will open up the VMware and here you need to import this file so just give it a name whatever you want to give so I'm just gonna call it Freddy OS aka Chrome OS okay and I'm gonna import this just like that and it will take some time so just sit back relax and enjoy the loading bar right it's almost done yep once it's done you can just simply play on virtual machine just like that or if you want to do some settings like change the uh, ram or anything like that you can do that i'm gonna give it a uh, four gigabyte of ram and i'm gonna give a four processes just like that and uh, hard disk amount is uh, 10 gigabyte for some reason but maybe you can change that too so i'm not gonna play on uh, that for now so i can also give more graphics memory to it so i'm just gonna give it two gigabyte and i can also specify the monitor size so i'm gonna make it 1080p how about that 19 by 1080 so once you have done all the settings uh, you can uh, do whatever settings you do, but you don't need to do any settings. You can just run it. So once you're happy with your settings, click OK and click on power on this virtual machine. Just like that. And it will give you the option and you don't have to do anything. You just let it go and it will boot Fedi OS just like that. So once you're here you just need to set up your chrome os now you can see uh, let's go uh, connect it to ethernet let's go agree the agreement let's go and uh, we're just gonna wait and now we need to sign in actually so it's like you're setting up your own uh, 
Chrome OS. So here is the thing. You need to make an account using your phone. So I have made a video on how to get a another country's phone number, fake phone number, and you can make a account because uh, you can use your real number too. But just in case, if you don't want, then you can do that too. So I will put link in the description for how to get a another country's number. You can go there, watch the video and make a account. Just click on create account. And I have actually made a account. So let me sign in with my email or phone number, whatever I choose. So once you sign in with Ferry OS account, uh, I can have a option uh, keep using the Ferry OS account, uh, which will use the Ferry OS. But uh, if you prefer a Google account, not Ferry account, then just I prefer a Google account. Uh, click next and now here you need to set up your things if it's uh, for you or you know just like you set up the other things so I'm, I'm i'm gonna use this so let me sign in with my google account first so we're just gonna uncheck those get started and there we go here we have the chrome os running onto a virtual machine inside vmware and uh, yeah that's it and uh, actually this wallpaper got synced into my account because i used the same account when i made a tutorial on uh, chrome os before so yeah this is this is cool so this is how you install a chrome os onto a virtual machine and uh, guess what uh, we have android too Android let me let me let me see let me see where is Android yeah here's the Android yep it comes with Android and you can run Android applications too so this is a great great thing for those people who want to try Chrome OS before buying a actual Chromebook or uh, you know and there are many Chrome OS distros which you can install onto other uh, PC or laptops so you can try this Chrome OS before you actually uh, install it onto your PC so this is great so what do you expect from Chrome OS it's light it's fast you know all, the, all those good stuffs so whatever you know about the Chrome OS yeah that's all I know <laughs> I don't have extra knowledge or anything like that so yeah this is how you uh, let me let me try to change the resolution of this. I'm gonna go 19. Oh, okay, in uh, there is no 1980 something. I think there is no 1980. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Confirm and let's uh, try to go full screen. Maybe let's. Uh, yay! It's a full screen, but it's too big. Let me go 1912. It's still too big. How about this one? Too big. Yay, this one is pretty nice. <laughs> okay, there is no option of 1920 by 1080. So, but, uh, you know, it, it works. That's all we care about, okay? It works. So if you want to test the Chrome OS before you actually install it or before you actually buy the Chromebox, yeah, it's a great. And you, you can see even in virtual machine, this is so fast, so fast. Look at this, so good. No lag, no nothing like that. So for some reason, if you need Chrome OS for some reason, then this is also a great option. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I will put link in the description for the Ferry OS website. You can go there, download the VMware file and import it. And you have your own Chrome OS inside a PC. So that's, uh, that's amazing. This feels really amazing because and the performance is also really good. That's the most important thing that uh, you don't even have to install it on uh, a PC if you have decent uh, PC like, you know, so it's really fast. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun and 
bye bye and i will also make a video on like updated video on how to install fedi os onto a laptop or pc so yeah maybe in few days i'll make a video on that so that's it i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye